Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Oviedo Ultimate State Road 426 Roadway Widening Open House Public Meeting. Jeff Oakes is the Florida Department of Transportation Project Manager, and my name is Charles Suffler. I'm the Community Outreach Specialist and will be moderating this presentation. This open house public meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive project information and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, you are automatically placed in listen-only mode. A copy of the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 415030-6. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You could type a comment or a question into the question box, then click send to submit your comment or question to staff members. The red arrows in both images point to where you could find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the handouts icon to see available handouts, click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel to report it, or send an email to nancy.ortega at exp.com to report it. That's n-a-n-c-y dot o-r-t-e-g-a at exp dot com. You may also call 305 984-7530. Staff will do their best to assist you. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by January 27, 2022, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded and a presentation is available on the project's webpage located at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 415030-6. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff or place it in the comment box. If you are participating online, you can type your questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments can also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 415030 Dash six. You can also contact the Community Outreach Specialist, Charles Suppler, directly by email at charles.suppler at dot.state.fl.us. That's C-H-A-R-L-E-S dot S-U-P-P-L-E-R at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot us or by us mail at 2400 camp road ms 593 oviedo florida 32765 or by phone at 407-278-2713 the contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail the Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, 
or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. That's J E N N I F E R dot S M I T H, the number two, at D O T dot state dot F L dot U S. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, M S 65. Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R-A-M-O-R-E at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. All inquiries or concerns will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in prompt and courteous manner. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website, on the project webpage, the Orlando Sentinel, and on social media outlets. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and the government agencies were also informed by email and public meeting notifications were mailed. The Florida Department of Transportation is widening State Road 426, County Road 419, or Broadway, from Pine Avenue to Avenue B, also known as Adeline B. Tinsley Way. The project is being undertaken to make the roadway safer and to enhance mobility. The total length of this widening project is 1.4 miles. The purpose of this project is to increase safety and enhance operations through the corridor. A recent engineering study that was conducted for this project shows the benefits of these enhancements. These improvements will help with mobility as the corridor sees more than 12,000 vehicles per day, which is expected to increase. The raised median on State Road 426, or Broadway, will increase safety by minimizing angle and left turn collisions. Having this median may eliminate left turn access at various points throughout the corridor. The current configuration will be changed from a two lane roadway to a four lane road, two lanes in each direction, with a 22 foot wide raised grass median, sidewalks, and bicycle lanes. This project is already underway with a scheduled completion of the summer of 2024. The total cost of the project is estimated to be $20 million. As part of the roadway safety improvements with added medians, left turns onto State Road 426 from Allen Avenue will be restricted. And left turns onto State Road 426 from Tomoka Drive will also be restricted. Five foot wide sidewalks will be added to both sides of the road, increasing the safe travel for pedestrians. Other improvements will include adding more wider and clearly marked bicycle lanes along the course of the road. In addition to the road widening and addition of sidewalks and bike lanes, the Florida Department of Transportation is constructing a new stormwater pond between Chippendale Terrace and Allen Avenue. The department is enhancing existing stormwater ponds between Tomoka Drive and Lake Jessup Avenue. This will improve water quality and help with flood control. 
Over the course of this roadway widening project, people using State Road 426 or Broadway can expect the following. Overnight periodic lane closures between 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. These closures can vary due to unforeseen circumstances. The presence of electronic message boards helping direct the flow of traffic. Uneven pavement during construction and the presence of cones and barrels to help mark safe travel lanes. More information is available online. Go to the project website at www.cflroads.com. Enter the project number 415-030-6 in the search box at top right, then click Go. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by January 27, 2022 to Charles Suppler at charles.suppler at dot.state.fl.us. That's C-H-A-R-L-E-S dot S-U-P-P-L-E-R at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S or call 407-278-2713. A recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 415-030-6. Please remember to exercise caution and reduce speed while driving by a construction work zone area. Thank you for participating and have a good evening.